you feel it. Nothing can save you, but this is the season of catching the vapors. And since I got time, what I'm going to do? To tell you how they spread it throughout my crew. Well, you all know T.J. Swan, who sang on my records. Make the music nobody beats the biz, well, check it. Back in the days before this began, he used to try to talk to this girl named Fran. The type of female with fly Gucci wear, with big truck jewelry and extensions in the hair. When Swan tried to kick it, she always best talking about, nigga, please, you work for UPS. Since he was an old type of big drug dealer, my man T.J. Swan didn't appeal to her. But now he trucks gold to wear fly belly boots, rough leather fashion and tough silk suits. Now she stopped fronting and wants to speak and be coming to all the shows every single weekend. To get his beeper number, she be begging please, dying for the day to get skis. She caught the vapors. She caught the vapors. She caught the vapors. She caught the vapors. I got another brother that's calm and plain. He goes by the name of the Big Daddy Kane. A mellow type of fellow that's laid back. Back in the days, he was nothing like that. I remember when he used to fight every day. What grown-ups would tell him, he would never obey. He wore his pants hanging down and his sneakers untied. And a Rasa-type tango tilted to the side. Around his neighborhood, people treated him bad. And said he was the worst thing his mom's ever had. They said that he would grow up to be nothing but a hoodlum. Or either in jail or someone would shoot him. But now he's grown up to their surprise. Big Daddy got a hit record selling worldwide. Now the same people that didn't like him as a child be saying, Can I borrow a dollar? Ooh, you're a star. Now they caught the vapors. They caught the vapors. They caught the vapors. They caught the vapors. Now I got a cousin by the name of Vaughn Lee. Better than only y'all as Kamasa Cool V. He cut scratch, transform with finesse. And all that mess. But I remember when he first started to rock and tried to get this job in a record shop. He was in it to win it, but the boss fronted, said, Sorry, Mr. Lee, but there's no help wanted. Now my cuts on, still try on and on and on till the light break of dawn. To put this J-O-B in effect, but they'd look right past him and be like, Next! Now for the year of 88, Cool V is making dollars, so my cousin's like straight. He walks into the same record shopper before, and the boys be like Vaughn, welcome to my store. Offering him a job, but nah, he don't want it. Damn, it feels good to see people up on it. Cause I remember when, at first they wasn't. Now guess what they caught from my cousin, the Vapors. They caught the Vapors. They caught the vapors. They caught the vapors. Last subject of the story is about Bismarck. I had to work for mine to put your body in park. When I was a teenager, I wanted to be down with a lot of MC, DJ, and crews in town. So I screw on Noble Street. I said, can I be down, champ? They said, no, and treated me like a wet food stamp. After getting rejected, I was very depressed. Sat and wrote some death through the rhymes at my rest. When I used to come to parties, they make me pay. I would have to beg to get on the mic and rap that day. I was never into girls. I was just into my music. They acted like I wanted to keep it Instead of trying to use it, but now things switch without belief. Yo, biz, do you remember me from Noble Street, Chief? We used to be down back in the days. It happens all the time and never cease to amaze. They caught the vapors. They caught the vapors.